beloved final resting place for some of man and woman's best friends has fallen into disrepair over time in Parkville. As Fox 45 videographer Drew Snadecki shows us, some volunteers gathered at this pet cemetery to pay back a little of the love that those buried there gave their owners. I've driven by this place a thousand times and I never knew what it was because it was always so overgrown. Try to get the property back to where it needs to be. We're uncovering graves that, you know, haven't seen the light of day for 20 or 30 years. It's nice to uncover them after so long after they've been buried. And finally I took the time to stop, pull my car over and realize it was thousands of thousands of pet graves. Oh, this is my my uh, receipt for my dog that are buried here, August 30th, 1961, uh, section number 31 and grave 93. And the, the cemetery's been around since like the early to mid 1900s. The current owner has let it sort of get run down and overgrown and just sort of uncared for. My team, our friends, our family, our clients, the neighbors are all volunteering to make this forgotten cemetery a place of peace again. Her whole team comes out. It's really, it's just, it's remarkable. It's honestly remarkable. It's a bring your own tool, so everybody's brought their own chainsaws, weed whackers. And we just have sweat equity and will. I planned on doing a big area, but that isn't going to happen because we're getting a little tired. <laughs> if I could only find a little marker, I'd know I'd be in the right section. These people are coming back and visiting their loved ones, and that feels great for everybody involved. I'm going to find them. <laughs> I'll be back. OK. When's the next cleanup project? I think most of my team would argue our love for animals doesn't stop once they're gone. Like, pets are your family. And whether they're with you in spirit or at your side physically, we just feel they should be honored any way we can.